All over Maryland, there are beautiful parks and homes like this hidden away. And for the next month or so, you'll be able to tour some of them. It's called the Maryland House and Garden Pilgrimage. It's for a good cause, and Kathy Rosenbaum is in charge of putting it all together. The first tour that we put on had 37 houses across seven different counties. And it became very, very popular. And to date, we now have uh, raised over a million dollars to uh, support 70 different buildings and other uh, places across the state of Maryland that are both architecturally significant and historically significant. A different county is highlighted each weekend for five weeks. Suzanne Betts is the chair in Anne Arundel County where there are eight sites open. Whitehall is a premier property and it is on the cover of our booklet. It's a circa 1760s home owned by Governor Horatio Sharp. It is a gorgeous Georgia's, Georgian home on the Chesapeake Bay. Describe your place for me, it's, be it's beautiful. Thank you. This is a 1970s ranch home that's clad in cedar and we have been doing serious renovations ever since we moved in. I think we're about done now, but the gardens, most of which were not here except for the beautiful azaleas that are on Cattail Creek and the perennial garden that's also down by the water's edge. I'm an artist and so inside the home you will find a lot of artwork done by me. My daughter's a potter and there's a lot of small fountains that are uh, on the property and I love gardening and so there's many plants. We've been here for 26 years. In Baltimore City, the tour is centered in the Bolton Hill area. The home of Travis Hardaway and Barbara Naylor will be one of 13 sites all within walking distance of each other. It's a lot of work to open up the house to the public like this. Uh, why do you do it? We <laughs> love the house. We love being able to show it. We also love the fact that people come and visit this neighborhood mm -hmm. because as you mentioned, there are a lot of people who don't even realize that this neighborhood exists. Oh, it's yeah. one of the most beautiful preserved Victorian neighborhoods in the city. Yeah, it's, I mean. it's really quite intact. And um, interestingly enough, in the uh, mid-1900s, there was a lot of white flight out of the city into the suburbs. But this community decided that it wanted to really maintain its character, which is one reason why the park in front of our street mm -hmm. exists. It was closed off in 1951-52 uh, mm -hmm. and made into a park, partly as a way of beautifying the neighborhood. And you'll find small pocket parks all over the neighborhood. The house dates back to the Civil War? Yes, yeah, well, antebellum. It's 1850s. Um, not a huge amount. Um, mainly, we have renovated in this carriage house, uh, which is still retains its original timbers, and it was both the carriage house and the summer kitchen with a very large hearth, um, so you wouldn't overheat the house. Howard County this year has seven sites on the tour, including a property once owned by Charles Carroll, a signer of the Declaration of Independence. Judy Draper is the Howard County Chair. We have a wonderful uh, group of homes. We have one church. It's uh, the Franciscan Monastery out on Folly Quarter. It's modeled after the uh, Franciscan Monastery in Assisi, Italy. We have six homes, all historic, one of which was a former decorator show house. Okay, and tell me about this house. This house is Spring Hill. It was uh, built, it's partially log, built in 1774. It was a hunting lodge for Belmont, which is over near Route 1 uh, in Elkridge. This house has um, eight bathrooms, eight fireplaces, wow. and eight bedrooms. And uh, part of the house is log, part of the house is brick, but it was built in an interesting manner where um, there is nothing between the exterior and the interior. It's just a thick brick wall plastered on the inside to make it more amenable. And the oldest part dates back to? 1774. Uh, I understand you have uh, another inhabitant here besides. Well, we're alleged to have a ghost, or many ghosts. We're just not sure. The tours start tomorrow here in Bolton Hill. They'll be going on for the next five weeks. I'm Lou Davis for State Circle.